Oh, so, Escape from the Arcade, the game. I've wanted to get some of these, like, at-home escape room games for a while, but it's always, like, 15 bucks, and, like, the better ones you can only really play once, and I'm like, I don't like having games that aren't reusable. But in this case, this is a reusable one, by my understanding. I got it at GameStop, Escape from the Arcade, the game, by Paladone. Three-plus players, includes a combination lock and 16 puzzles. And yeah, one person's a game master and sets up the puzzles. Everybody else does everything else. So should be pretty cool. And it's reusable, which was the big thing for me. Because like, it, I, I, one of the things I appreciate about board gaming is that it is a reusable, renewable kind of hobby. Oh, I got to grab a knife. Hold on. There we go. That's open now. So escape from the arcade. Can you and your friends escape the arcade before it's too late? Choose a game master to set the combination lock and select four puzzles. Four puzzles. You and your team are then invited to test your skills with the riddles, codes, symbology, and puzzles to crack the combination lock and escape the arcade. Include 16 different puzzles and a reprogrammable combination padlock so you can play game after game after game with multiple outcomes. All right. That's what I like to hear. So, uh, I might edit stuff out because I don't want to show any kind of spoilers. But, here we go. Let's get into it. So, we got a bunch of pipe bits like Mario style. We have the combination lock itself, which looks like, yeah, okay. Crack into that in a second. We got a literal jigsaw puzzle that's like pixely, looks like it's trying to be Minecraft. We got, looks like tanagrams. You guys ever do tanagrams? It's like a bunch of different shapes that form a thing. I don't know. Then we got these little hexagons. Not sure what that's about. Then a bunch of envelopes. I wonder what these are for. Hopefully you don't have to tear them or anything. Because I, I was literally here to avoid that. I don't know. We will find out. So. We have one bit of instructions for everyone. And a double-sided one for the Game Master. So. That's spoilers. Apolog apologies. Don't read that if you don't want to get spoiled. That's how that works. In fact, let me see how these envelopes factor in. Ah, okay, so that's just part of the setup, is you just put them in the envelope so they find them one by one. Okay. I will have to be sure to tell everyone, like, be careful, don't tear the envelope. I mean, it's $15. So I don't mind if it gets, you know, too torn up or anything. Just, you know, I like to keep my stuff nice. What do you want from me? So here we have these little cards, which are actually pretty nice. That's like a matte finish. Whoops, might be spoilers there. Pretty, pretty thick stock. Oh, yep, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Said something about an answer. I don't want answers. I just want to know how it feels. All right, and then we also have these hexagons. Ooh, all these plastic pouches. The, ooh, these are very thin. They're not very flexible though, so that's good. Oh, so you gotta like line them up or something to show like different icons. That's neat, I like that. Be nice if you had more than just two as an option. Two seems a bit limiting, but you know what? Fifteen dollars ain't terrible. Tuck that away. Now, I presume these are going to be the same quality of cardboard and everything, but it's always good to check. Since I'm doing this unboxing, um, yeah, it's about the same quality. It's a bit bent, a little bit, a little bit of a curve to it. Not, not terrible. The jigsaw puzzle pieces, which look glossier than usual, jigsaw pieces would be on the back. I'm just gonna pull out a couple. Yeah, they're a bit glossier on the back than standard jigsaw puzzle pieces, but it's just a jigsaw puzzle, you know? Pretty simple so far. And then we have these pipes. Ooh, do I have to tear? No, don't tear. 
Don't tear. I have... I have this recurring nightmare of handing someone, like, uh... Yeah, it's the same quality. <laughs> handing someone, like, a Ziploc of game components with, like, a hole punched through it for, like, air to escape, and them just, like, ripping it open. Just, grr. I don't know why these are the kinds of things that scare me, but I don't know. I have anxiety around keeping my stuff nice. It's because I grew up with, like, a bunch of younger siblings, and all of our board games as a kid, that, like, all the boxes would be, like, broken at the corners because somebody would have stepped on the lid, and, like, most of the pieces would be missing or disheveled, and I was just like, uh Filled me with much anxiety. Okay. And then we have this combination lock, which is nice and clicky. Yeah, that's good click. And then there is a reset button, and there's a button. Whoa! Oh, I guess I got it. Whatever it was set to. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that snaps open real nice. It'd be nice if there was something to find in the lock, but you know what? Just being able to open it, that felt very satisfying, so. For $15 for a reusable escape room experience, like obviously you can only run through it so many times before you know all the puzzles, right? Except for like the jigsaw one. But uh, for $15, I feel like I'm gonna get more than enough fun out of this, so. I think it's worth it, but let me know in the comments if you think it's worth it. Let me know if there's other things you want me to unbox. Check out my other unboxings and my unboxing playlist. Be sure to follow and subscribe. Check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash IggyKid, and my Twitch archive channel here on YouTube, IggyKid Twitch Archive, where all my past live streams are. Check out my Twitter, at IggyDKid. I've been posting up a lot of drawings lately, which is pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, I got a Discord server and stuff. I guess I'll link to that down below. Maybe I won't. Uh, it's on it's on twitch.tv slash IggyKid, so go there to get access to my Discord server and hang out. I post there as often as I can and hang out with anybody talking. I, I enjoy the place. All right. That'll do it. Go have fun with whatever games you have. Maybe this game? Maybe another game. I don't know, but have fun with it. Whatever you do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.